Another week begins with dozens of trucks lined up outside a Metro Detroit mail distribution center waiting to unload thousands of packages. Incredible scene between poor planning during a pandemic and holiday mail volume. For some, a late delivery could spoil the holidays and those Mail delays are costing local business owners dearly. Seven investigator Heather Catalo joins us live right now with a look at what in the world is going on here. Heather? Well, Carolyn and Dave, even if you mailed your Christmas presents early this year, there's a good chance those packages are still, quote, in transit for a lot of the a lot of us that means they're stuck down in Allen Park and sadly postal workers tell me this was all predictable. I'll be home. It's a beautiful ad celebrating the hardworking men and women of the U.S. Postal Service. But for small business owners like Alicia Christensen, the post office has hit a low note. I'm not counting on them because I had to shut my shop down because I can't rely on the flowers to get there before Christmas. Alicia makes hand-painted aluminum wreaths and wall art. In January, this artist from Wixom opened her Bendable Blooms shop on the website Etsy. But the wreaths she mailed to customers on November 29th got stuck in transit at the USPS Detroit Network Distribution Center, or NDC, in Allen Park. My Etsy shoppers are starting to contact me, wanting either their money back or wanting to know where these are at. Alicia was forced to choose between losing about $800 or getting bad reviews, so she temporarily halted her online sales while she anxiously watches for shipping updates. And she's not the only one wondering why her packages haven't moved out of Michigan. Today, we counted at least 50 tractor trailers waiting to get onto the Allen Park USPS property, not to mention the dozens of trailers stacked with packages already inside. It has mail from wall to wall. Again, this is something that I have never seen in my 30 years of being a postal employee. Union President Keith Combs represents Detroit area postal drivers, clerks, and maintenance workers. Combs says USPS restructuring ordered by Postmaster General Louis DeJoy added to the backlog caused by the pandemic and normal holiday mail volume increases. They should have started hiring these seasonal people much earlier than they did. I, I would say back in May, June or July. A USPS spokeswoman sent us a statement about the delays in Allen Park that says in part, quote, there has already been progress at the Detroit NDC and we are confident that our processing and delivery will return to normal levels quickly. We've got to stay positive and there's always hope and there's always 2021. Union officials tell me postal workers have been working seven days a week, sometimes 18 hours a day for more than a month now, and they really are trying to get all of those packages delivered on time. Reporting live, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.